Yo, what is going on everybody? Stiff and we're back with some more World Series of Mutt Semi-Finals Round 4 going up against Big Blue Jungle. He is a very good Madden Ultimate Team player. It is going to be a great game, so make sure you guys hit that like button and you stay until the end. So like I said, this is the semi-finals of the World Series of Mutt hosted by my boy J.O. and Raw Dog. So basically, it's a week of Madden Ultimate Team tournaments, and if you win the tournament each week, you get put into a uh, smaller tournament where if you win that leading up to the Super Bowl you get the MVP card that's going to be coming out along with I think $200 in Amazon gift card so this is the semifinals like I said we got a stacked ass squad but Big Blue Jungle definitely um, run some tough ass shit I played him a couple times before this for coin games I do remember losing to him a couple times but here we go we are the New York Giants uniforms using those uh, color rush jerseys second and ten we got Donovan McNabb at the helm and we throw a dot to Mike Evans running that shotgun snug scheme that I am very fond of ever since they came out with that patch a little quick base to Derrick Henry getting the first down and we are moving the ball very very methodically first and ten he's gonna have B wide open Mike Evans with the possession catch two feet in bounds and we secure it for the first touchdown of the game so now if you guys are interested in why I don't post any pack openings on this channel it's because I, I posted them on my personal channel at official stuff I'll leave the link to that I opened up the ultimate freeze bundle on that uh, YouTube I'll leave that in the link if you guys are wondering what happened to the the pack openings I just posted them there I want to keep this channel strictly for uh, you know competitive games and of that nature and tips so let's get back into the game just cute little uh, quick little shout out uh, third and 15 Wow we had we had heat coming off the right side and he ended up dotting us uh, he can't really stop the 3-4 over 3-4 odd I believe this one I'm, 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 I'm advanced to 3-4 over now but in this game I was running 3-4 odd I believe uh, he couldn't really stop it. Fourth and 15. Settles for a field goal. Seven to three. Two minute warning has already hit. Uh, I tried beating my cover two beater, but uh, he actually manned up that side. But we still end up getting a good completion. Second and six. Uh, this is why I love the scheme. There's just so many routes and so many different play calls that you can't really hone in on on a certain route or man up a certain route because it could be a different play call. So third and inches, we go with the quick base. I probably caught him trying to put different people in coverage because we just ended up trampling his whole line which means he only had two people rushing don't know why you would have two people rushing on third and inches but I probably caught him off guard so look at this first and ten this is when I first got introduced to dollar defense at cross manning I just started I was up 14-3 I was like ah, let me just try dollar defense let me see how to cross man let me try doing all this stuff and I pay for it dearly I mean he dotted me up that first play the second play he dotted me to the right side now it's second and goal he's gonna go with the high point pass to one of his tight ends He's going to end up getting the touchdown. And remember, he gets ball at half. So it's 14-10 me. He gets the ball because it's halftime. Let's see if he can concoct another good drive. I feel like I'm playing very good on defense if I'm in 3-4 odd. He can't really stop it. Uh, third and five, he's going to come right out the gate. He's going to have someone motioned all the way to the right side. Or he's just going to redirect his, his wide receiver to the right side. And I'm getting the first down. Has a nice little drag. Woo! Blunt with a nice pop. Love, love, love me some people with some with some hip power and some strength. Uh, I really enjoy those people. But anyway, first and ten, he ends up getting the first down. Uh, he ends up getting a touchdown with that new team of the week, David Johnson, who at the time was probably arguably the best running back in the game. Uh, so he had him. I have to really watch out for that next time he gets the ball. Second and three. We had the good coverage, or we had good blocking scheme, uh, which allowed one of our receivers to get open down the field. So first and ten, we're just going to try and take off with Donovan McNabb, who's got that 87 speed. I might go over to the conductor, uh, Russell Wilson, just because of the conductor ability. Not really sure yet how I feel about that, but we'll see. First and ten, ends up screaming up the A-gap, and also up the edge. Uh, he caught me by surprise. Third and 16. I had Y right now. I had him on a bullet pass to the left. Didn't think that his safety would drop down. And we end up getting hit and Donovan McNabb holds on to the ball. We're going to end up tying the game right now. Yes, we are. 17 all. Fourth quarter. 333 left. We do have all three of our timeouts. <clears throat> so we are looking good in that aspect. And we're going to see if we can lock up on D. First play coming out of, uh, out of our drive. He gets a first down on a quick base. First and 10, we're guarding that deep crossing route that he was oh so lovingly enjoying throwing in the previous drive. 
We get the sack. Second and 11. We're sending Heat off the right side again. We got Miller screaming off the right side. Third and 11. Incomplete pass. He's going to try hit us with bunch tight end. And I really don't like bunch tight end against, against this 3-4 out. I mean, I think bunch tight end gets smothered. I mean, right there, we have a good uh, deep zone that covers it. Fourth and 11. We have to lock up on D. We're sending it off the right side and our... And are we, we put that defensive end in a blue, or in a yellow, I'm sorry. And he played that crossing route right up the middle of the field. Swats it down. Turnover on downs. Now we are in sole possession right now. First and 10, taking off with Donovan McNabb. Shouldn't have gotten out of bounds. I should have just went down. I don't know why I went out of bounds. That was pretty dumb on my part. Could have took a, a timeout away from him. We go with a toss. He shuts it down. Timeout. Third and goal. We're going to go with the quick base. We get all the way in. Four, six. What a great call. Third and goal. I wanted to kick the field goal. Didn't want to risk throwing an interception. Went with a quick base. He didn't think that was coming. I don't know why. So we go up seven instead of three. He's got two timeouts remaining. Dots me with PA all cross at a bunch of tight end. Second and 11. I'm playing a little conservative right now. I got to stop doing that. Night train lane just holding the swap button. Not trying to get aggressive caught. With 36 seconds remaining. Third and 11. He's going to, I think, shotgun split close. And we are going to be getting a block shot off the right side. And Night Train Lane says, give me that. And we get down with him. And we advance to the finals of the World Series of Mutt. If you guys are enjoying the competitive gameplay, great game to Big Blue Jungle. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know what you guys think. And I will be back in the next episode. If you guys want to see pack openings, check that out on my personal channel. Peace.